Welcome back, everyone. As I'm sure you all know by this point, we have seen a cryptocurrency crash today, uh, September 7th. It is 2 p.m. as of the recording of this video. I want to share with you everything that I know about what's going on and just give you a little bit of insight to help you out through the situation. As this was going down, I was watching it live on my own applications. And the first thing I'm trying to do is not sell because that's not what I'm doing. I'm a five-year holder, and this is what I suggest for all of you. It'll make you feel a little bit better in situations like this. Don't be buy sell. It's never going to work out right. But the first thing I try to do is figure out why is this happening? What's the catalyst behind this? So I start researching news stories everywhere. There is literally nothing, not one piece of data, no information out there that would suggest that anything like what we have just seen should have happened. The entire crypto market is down about 10%, and it was down much more than that a little earlier in the day. So what's going on here? Well, the best that I can come up with is there's some sort of a glitch and or investment computer systems decided to sell off. And then once they began to sell off, there was a panic sell off that initiated another panic sell off and another panic sell off and probably more computer glitches. Something to back that up would be the fact that as everything pulled down, some things pulled down up to 20% or more down. Many individuals were trying to buy back into the market because this is a great opportunity. You can make a lot of money really quickly by just buying this massive dip that shouldn't be occurring because they're doing the same thing I'm doing. They're looking for the catalyst. They're not finding the catalyst. They know something's wrong. They're getting a bargain deal on a lot of these cryptocurrencies that they've wanted to get. They're going to buy back in. But guess what? Nobody could buy back in. Coinbase, if you tried to buy in at the bottom of this dip, you would not be able to buy back in. If you were using Weeble, were you able to buy in on the dip? No, you could not buy in on the dip. All of these financial applications, these, these crypto applications were not working. You could not buy in. They were all down. And this is what perpetuated the furtherance of this dip. Because as it was going down, people wanted to buy, but nobody could. And so we see how it perpetuated itself. But eventually when things began to flip around, people could start buying back in. I'm going to show you a couple of charts here in just a moment, but you can see here on Coinbase, the market is down nearly 10%. The one thing I find really interesting that I love about this is when you look at Tether, which is basically, it's always a dollar. You can see Tether went up. So many people were throwing their money, their coins, transferring it into Tether to try to ride out this dip that Tether actually went back up. But you can see Tether is actually pulled right back down, which means individuals are throwing their coins back into the cryptocurrencies, which essentially I believe was an absolute glitch and a a sell off after a sell off of their sell off, which essentially is really not bad news if you still have your money in there because we should see all these cryptocurrencies basically rebound. Let's take a look at the Dogecoin chart that I want to point out to you. So lines of inclination, declination, they are pretty good at predicting where cryptocurrencies and or stocks will funnel themselves in. So when you take a look at this, take a look at where Dogecoin decided to stop right there. So if we go back to the previous major and by the way you can draw a few lines of inclination and declination using this chart so this is the one that it decided to fall back into I don't see an issue here. Now, if Dogecoin goes down to like 21 or 22 and then settles in there, then it's now dipped below that line of inclination. And there's no other lines of inclination that it could fall on. It's basically collapsed into something different, but it stopped there. I expect Dogecoin will continue to go back up on this line of inclination and rebound over the next coming weeks to pretty much where it found itself at yesterday. So I see no big deal there. If we take a look at Bitcoin, the same thing, taking a look at its line of inclination that it's been on, it basically stopped at the bottom of its line of inclination after all the major gains that it had just gotten. And now it's starting to rebound back up. And if you take a look at Ethereum, you have almost the same thing. Actually, Ethereum performed a little bit better during this difficulty than Doge or even Bitcoin did per se, depending on these charts here. But if I go to this line of inclination, now there's other lines of inclination, again, that I could draw on this chart, but you could see Ethereum decided to stop at sort of the top of the lines of inclination, and now it's rebounding back again. So every single one of the major cryptocurrencies are stopping in major lines of inclination. As these stock applications are now coming back online and people are able to buy back into these, with the fact that there is no major news catalyst out there that should suggest that such a thing should happen. So I'm not sure what you all did. I didn't do anything. I've I've told you everyone on this channel, I'm very transparent with you. I am not a buyer and seller. I don't sell high, buy low. I don't do that. I am a long-term investor. I am a five-year holder. If, if the market would have went down 30, 35% today, I would have held the entire thing.
I don't see much of an issue here, except for the fact that my portfolio looks a lot lower today than it did yesterday. But I know in three weeks from now, my portfolio is probably going to look exactly like what it did yesterday. It's And I wouldn't have bought, sold, or anything anyway. So I'm not sure what you all did in the midst of this, but I would hope that you would have not really done anything except for maybe buy more on the dip, but you weren't even able to do that because the, the applications out there were not allowing you to do that. So some people get sick in their stomach because they're like, man, I could have made so much money and bought. No, you couldn't have. Wouldn't have worked anyway, except maybe on Robinhood. So don't let that make you sick to your stomach. Oh, if I just sold up here and bought up here, it, it, it wouldn't have worked. Even if you could have had the foreknowledge of it, you couldn't have done it because the applications wouldn't have let you do it. So don't let that make you sick to your stomach. Just hold strong. The market is doing fine right now. There's no reason for this. I think it was a glitch in the system. I think it was a combination of those big financial systems out there that run with algorithmic equations that decide when to buy and sell sort of glitching out causing a mass panic sell-off which caused a second mass panic sell-off combined with the fact that we had these applications that would not allow people to buy back in when they wanted to which perpetuated the craziness that we saw but even with all of that all of the declines still fell on major lines of inclination and stopped with all of the major cryptocurrencies that are out there, which makes me think that they will begin to level off and rise back up to where they were before without, you know, no bad news or just neutral news out there for the rest of the upcoming day, two days and week or two weeks. Everything is going to get itself back into place where it was before. This may be an opportunity to get some money into one of the cryptocurrencies you wanted to, at least at some point. But this was the entire crypto market, as you can see. Take a look down the line. Every single one of them doing the same exact thing. All of them. The only ones that escaped, of course, is Tether because it always says a dollar. Of course, USD coin, it's always a dollar. Solana actually did okay during this, which is just Solana has been outperforming everything. If you're a Cardano fan, Cardano may be one that you might want to get into with this, although Solana is just really taking the limelight away from um, Cardano at this point. So you can see across the board, every single cryptocurrency experienced the same thing. I think it's a glitch in the system. I kind of already explained myself. I'm not going to re-explain myself again. I think you just, just hold. I have no, I'm not no plan of selling. Again, I am a long-term holder. I am in this for five years. Uh, this in five years from now is going to be a day that hopefully no one even remembers. And I don't think we're going to continue to see the market collapsing down anymore. As far as the Dogecoin chart goes, Maybe this is an opportunity. Some of you wanted to get in and felt like you couldn't get in. And now it's 25 cents again. I mean, it's been a while since it's been 25 cents. It's yet to go back almost a month to get to where Dogecoin was 25 cents. And now it's 25 cents again. Um, this might be an opportunity for you. If you are into Ethereum, um, Ethereum didn't collapse as much. It's down to 34. So we don't have to go back too far to get there. If you go back about a week ago, it was at 34. So I was in Ethereum way before, you know, the 34 price. So, you know, it, for me, not so much. I'd, I'd love to maybe get Solana or Cardano to go a little bit lower. But um, again, look at this chart. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Look at the line of inclination that Ethereum was on and look at where it stopped. It's literally still following this line of inclination after this glitchy drop. So I don't see anything wrong here. I think it's going to continue to go up where it wants to go up. And I, I don't now if these things plummet down again, another 25 percent tomorrow, then I really have nothing much to say about that, because then they're all going to dip below every line of inclination that would exist on these charts. And now they're in literally uncharted territory with no catalyst for what we're seeing here. And but I don't I don't obviously think that's going to happen. Um, and again, at that point, maybe I just got to shut my eyes for a month or two and reopen them. Um, and then hopefully uh, everything's OK. Right. So but yeah, there's really honestly, I wish I could tell you there's a reason why this is happening. I wish I could give you something. But hopefully everyone there was able to hold steady, not sell not get worried about anything and maybe some of you didn't even notice what was happening and you're kind of coming online now and it's it's down but it's maybe not down as bad as it as it could have been so um you know we'll we'll keep an eye on this we'll see what's going to happen i overall don't think this is a terrible thing i think it's going to rebound here but this is cryptocurrency 
you know, we can do our best guess. We can look at the news. We can look at the charts. We can we can kind of stay encouraged. But, you know, we ultimately never know exactly what's going to happen. It's usually like this. It's a pretty volatile thing. Uh, but I'm sticking with it. So hopefully you guys are too. And uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, let me know. Leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for coming along with me. As always, I will catch you next time.